Hi, this is Alessio Rostani of Leading Trader. Hope you're well. In this video, I'm going to share with you one of the biggest secrets in finance. In fact, what I'm going to tell you in this video is something that very few people know about, but only the professional traders and investors will probably know this. You see, guys, in this video, I'm going to share with you the market that knows all. I'm going to tell you exactly how you can find out what potentially is happening behind the scenes and what institutional investors are thinking, what the smart money is thinking. Before I do that, though, first of all, let me give you some context. Let me explain to you why. You see, as you probably know by now, the stock market over the last few weeks has had a major rally. There's been a very tremendous, very nice rally in the stock market after a major drop, as we saw in December. The stock market from December, actually from September, really, has dropped by almost uh, 20%, as you can see there. The market essentially went into a bear market in December. And as you know by now, that the stock market since December has had a nice, very strong rally. The question everybody's asking right now is, okay, is the stock market right now in the clear? Have we gone back into a bull market? In other words, is it likely to say right now that the stock market is potentially going to break even higher and you know go back into a bull market? Have we gone back into an upward trend and is the bear market over? Or is it possible that what we're seeing here is actually not the resumption of the bull market, but actually is a bull trap. And is it possible that perhaps we're going to return back into a bear market again, you know, go back into a major crash again? So which of these scenarios is more likely? Either we're going to go back up into a bull market, or we're going to continue the downward trend and the potential crash. So the way to resolve this situation is by looking at this market that I'm showing to you, or I'm going to show you in a few moments, the market that knows all. So let me explain to you what this market is. You see, guys, if you speak to your financial advisor, most financial advisors will tell you that to have a diversified and balanced portfolio, you need to have an appropriate number of stocks to an appropriate ratio of bonds, okay? 50% to 60% approximately 50% stocks or 60% stocks and about 40% to maybe about 30% bonds and the rest is commodities and cash. Okay. So that is what most professional financial advisors tell their clients. Why? Because in times of volatility, let me give you an example. For example, in 2016, when the stock market had a massive, nice little drop here, as you can see, when the markets dropped, as you can see in 2016, this is the S&P, look what happened to the bond market. The bond market did the exact opposite. The bond market went up. OK, here's another example for you. This is from 2008, 2009. Notice that in the year 2008, 2009, when the financial crisis got really bad, and as you see, the markets continued to crash lower and lower. Look what happened to the bond market. The bond market had a massive spike higher in 2008. So again, this is why financial advisors tell their clients to be diversified with bonds and stocks because the bond market can hedge you, often hedge you against the volatility and the drops in the stock market. By the way, one more thing you'll see here is this. The bond market actually formed the top before the stock market bottomed. So often you will see signals in the bond market before you see it in the stock market. All right. So the bond market can sometimes be a good leading indicator. It could be a leading indication of what's going to happen in the stock market. So that's a good idea to always keep your eye on what's happening on the bond market. And here's another reason why we want to keep our eye on the bond market, because the bond market is not usually traded by your average investor. Bond markets are usually traded by institutional investors and traders. In fact, just switch on your television right now and go to the financial channels. OK, just go into any channel or any kind of news channel. And I will guarantee you that the number one news story they're talking about or the major uh, financial markets they cover is usually, you know, the, the stock markets, the Dow Jones, the S&P, the Nasdaq or the currency markets or Bitcoin or gold. They hardly ever talk about the bond market. And the reason, obviously, is because they know their viewers, their audience, is not caring about the bond market. Most people are not interested in the bond market. And that's because the majority of people who trade the bond market are not your average investor. It is the institutions, the financial traders, the professional investors and traders. All right, guys. So that is why we look at the bond market, because they can tell us what's happening potentially behind the scenes. What are the institutions and professional investors really thinking? OK, so always keep an eye on this market. And by the way, I've mentioned this market before. If you've been watching our videos now for the last five years, you probably know I've mentioned this particular market before many times. So 
In this particular chart that you see here, this is the chart of the bond market, the 20 year treasuries, TLT. Okay. And you will see something very interesting. You will see that, firstly, you will notice that as the stock markets were dropping, let me show you. So as the stock markets were dropping back in December, look what the bond market was doing. Okay. The bond market actually was going higher, doing the exact opposite of the stock market. Okay. Again, that's why commonly bonds can act as a hedge against the volatility in the stock market. So bond markets, TLT, the 20 year treasuries were rallying higher, doing the opposite of the stock market. Okay. And you will see that as the stock market changed direction and started moving higher, okay, in the last few weeks, the bond market has been doing the opposite as well. Yes, the bond market did the opposite and has been dropping. But notice something very interesting. Yes, the bond market has dropped and has retraced, but you will see that the drop has not been as significant as has been the rally in the stock market. In fact, the bond market continues to remain in an upward trend. As you'll see in this trend line, I've just drawn this trend line. I've connected the lows, as you can see here. All right. And you will see that we're still in an upward trend here. Not only that, the bond market continues to remain above its 200 daily moving average and, it, and also above its 55 daily moving average. Okay. And you will see very recently the bond market has managed to recover and go back above its 21 daily average. So as far as the bond market is concerned, it's holding rather strong. Okay. And what does that tell you? What is that saying to us? Right. It's saying to us, well, hang on a second. If the bond market is holding strong, while the stock market is also holding strong, yeah. So one of these charts has got to be incorrect. One of these charts is potentially has to be wrong here. Okay. So essentially, what it potentially could be telling us is this. If the bond market, if the bond market continues to remain strong in the next few weeks, okay, so Keep an eye on the bond market, especially in the next few days, and also I would say in the next few weeks, because as long as the bond market continues to remain above its above this trend line, above these moving averages, and above this trend, yeah, if it continues to remain in an upward trend, and especially if the bond market continues to put in another leg higher, another rally higher, and especially if it continues to take out the previous highs, the highs it made back in December near 124. That means, that could potentially mean to us that the financial institutions, the insiders and the institutional traders are speculating that there could be more volatility and more drops in the stock market. All right, guys, and that kind of makes sense. If the bond market continues to go higher, that means potentially we could see more volatility and more drops in the stock market, in which case we could see the stock market rolling over and potentially heading further lower. All right, guys. So the key to knowing whether this is a bull trap and whether the market's going to crash and go lower or whether it's going to continue moving higher is let's keep an eye on the bond market, okay, on TLT, for example, the 20 year treasuries. So let me also mention this. If the bond market here collapses, if, if TLT, for example, breaks this trend line, and if, especially if it breaks these moving averages that you see here, all right, if it, if it breaks the trend, and if it falls below support, support seems to be at 118, by the way. If it falls below 118 and closes below 118, that could tell us, you know what? This rally we're seeing here in the stock market, okay, this rally here could potentially be real. All right, that means because why? Because if the bond market's dropping, that means the institutional traders and investors are speculating, you know what? The uncertainties are probably over. The volatility potentially has come to an end. All right. And that means, by the way, if the bond market drops, it breaks below support, goes below 118, then very likely you could potentially see a further leg higher, further break in the stock market higher through the resistance levels and continuation this move higher. All right, guys. So keep a very close eye on what's happening on the bond market, especially the 20 year and the 30 year treasuries, because what's happening in this market could potentially tell us what's happening behind the scenes, what the institutional traders are thinking. And remember, guys, most folks in the street, the average person in the street out there, they don't know about the bond market. Again, most people who are watching the financial news channels, they don't know what's happening in the bond market because nobody tells them. All right. So what I'm sharing with you here in this video is one of those little secrets, one of those gems that only the professional traders and investors know, but the average person does not know. So I'm hoping this video has helped you. 
keep a close eye on this market. And guys, if this video has helped, please give it a thumbs up and also please subscribe for future video updates. Thanks a lot. Bye for now.